it's your boy back at it again man hope y'all doing well like always and it's finally time to jump back into some more my hero academia season five bro and this is it man this is the last episode officially before nba finally starts now i know i've given my whole spiel i made a whole video on it about my thoughts about season five and whatnot um you know i said that like i'm not really you know i'm not i'm not letting my my judgment get clouded by the hype of nba this upcoming arc that everyone's been talking about everyone just wants to see it's like the most anticipated thing about my hero academia that i've seen like goddamn bro like everyone just wants to see this arc and you know what i want to see this arc too i'm really excited to see exactly what goes on in this arc to make it so hype but i also am just watching my hero academia for what it is right now you know i don't want to like let nba you know demean my judgment over what i've seen so far because i actually have enjoyed you know the arcs that i've seen so far it's been really enjoyable you know especially the endeavor stuff really really meaningful i'm loving his full arc him trying to mend his family right now it's been really insightful and really emotional too man especially the last episode that was really cool just talk with natsu and whatnot but today's episode is gonna be really interesting because we're supposed to focus on aizawa and present mike apparently they're gonna go visit um kurogiri he's like the shadow dude that can teleport and whatnot um in the prison that's where like all for one is and whatnot so really curious to see exactly what's gonna go on today's episode i feel like this is the start of like the the shit storm that apparently is gonna go on man you know them visiting and everything and like in the, we saw in the preview that you know they were getting kind of riled up so really interesting to see what happens man so yeah everybody i'm hype like always and make sure to subscribe we're trying to hit that 200,000 subscribers together and also make sure to click that like button it really helps the board a lot and if you guys want to see the full uncut reaction patreon link down below in the description but nonetheless everybody let's get it atonement that is the key word that we wanted to hear bro we don't want forgiveness we want to we just want a chance to better ourselves you know for our family and you know for everybody around us basically all right my hero what we got bro i know like we're done with like you know the work studies and whatnot we're back at school so really curious all i'm saying if we have more wholesome times bro you know hey i wouldn't mind that too you know <laughs> there's been a lot of emotional stuff recently with endeavor this boy eat a clown bro <laughs> What the fuck is he doing right now, bro? All right, I forgot. Ochako got a new costume too. Bones, I see you, bro. That's all I'm gonna say on it, bro. I see where this is heading. Goddamn the fucking All Might keychain, dude. Dog, she did. Goddamn, bro. Relax. It's just the keychain. Yo, Uraka, bro. Yo, she get embarrassed too much, bro. That's the fucking uh, gift with Deku, right? Dog, she did like a whole parkour maneuver just to pick it up. Ain't no shame in that, bro. God damn! <laughs> Bakugo, relax, my guy. Yo, he just. <laughs> oh my God, this dude Bakugo, bro. He cannot let Deku get any type of, any type of relaxing time, man. Dude was just explaining the Black Whip. Goddamn, pierced his skull with his gauntlet shit. Oh my, you are not fine, bro. Did you snort like fucking ten lines of cocaine, bro? Are you good? Ah oh, shit. Oh, here we go, bro. Here we go. It's time for the real shit. Bro, you know it's real when present Mike, you know, present Mike, we know him. He's like a goofball, really loud, really out there and whatnot. That man looks serious as fuck, dude. dude. Like, dude, this has got to be some serious shit. If both Aizo, I mean, Aizo is always serious, but like he, we look nervous as hell right now. Ooh, some of these shots are looking nice though. Damn, my boy, uh, Gran Torino here. Okay. Damn, we are on edge right now, bro. Fucking present Mike shaking your eyes. It was like, yo, make this quick. Like, no bullshit right now. Dude, Kurogiri got us like hella stressed right now, bro. Oboro Shirakumo. Okay, so Oboro Shirakumo, he was the base of Kurogiri? Oh shit, he was like their friend like that. It was like the trio. Damn, so like we were close like that. Oboro Shirakumo died. Damn, okay. Okay, shit got dark real fast and got crushed by some debris. Kurogiri is a Nomu. Damn, that's kind of fucked. So I don't exactly know what they mean by that, but I, I can kind of, I, I kind of grasp it in a sense. So they really like, just like picked up his, his dead remains and whatnot. Oh, wow. That's kind of fucked. They can't even let the dude rest. They can't even let him die in peace. Like his remains were used to basically make Kurogiri. Hey, I don't know, Aizawa, bro. We can try anything, man. We're, we're, we're anime. <laughs> anything can happen. Am I right? So the Nomu that Endeavor fought was like an actual, just like, he was just a normal dude that likes fighting or like street fighting and whatnot. And his personality kind of showed a little bit, you know, when it went after he got turned into a Nomu. 
So you're saying we might be able to talk to Shirakumo from Kurogiri. Or like, I guess like the remains might come out of Kurogiri. Like he might get some memories here and there. And uh, that's really interesting. I honestly didn't expect that at all, that Kurogiri is a Nomu and that he has the remains of someone else from uh, UA that was, you know, friends with Aizawa and present Mike. Okay, damn. Okay, that's what got real. Nah, bro, Shiraki, he was... <laughs> he was fucking blowing up buildings a couple episodes ago. Aizawa would be good? I guess what Aizawa was saying right now is that he's he's kind of... It's kind of relating to how Oboro used to act. How Kuragiri is kind of treating uh, Sh Shigaraki in a way, I guess. What the hell, bro? Oh, she looks kind of cool. She kind of... I don't know why. She kind of reminds me of Hibana from uh, Fire Force. So Aizu was thinking of this big brain strategy to expel them, then re-enroll. Like the haze is it's starting to, I guess, dissipate a little bit. We're getting to him in a way. Shirakuma had a cool design too. I would have loved to see him in action a little bit. Oh shit, okay. We're actually getting to him. Did it not work? Wow. We didn't get to him. Damn, bro. This, the... Oh. Nah, he's there, bro. This is so weird. For real though, eyes away. Your eyes been open. Yeah, yeah, dude. You've been... You'd even blink for like a long time. I mean... <sighs> I'm not even gonna lie, dude. Like, it was a little hard for me to, like... I mean, I, for one for one, it was a really emotional type scene. I didn't really want to talk that much, but I'm not gonna lie. It was really hard for me to, I guess, comment on what I was seeing because, like, I was still trying to grasp exactly what they were talking about. Like, I get that Kurogiri, or I guess I should say this. I get that Oboro is the base for Kurogiri. Like, he was made out of Oboro's remains in a way. So I guess the test was trying to see if Aizawa and present Mike, which was Oboro's friends, can somehow trigger Oboro to come out and I guess, or I guess like a little bit of remnants of Oboro's memories, personality, and want to have to tell us more about Shigaraki. Where did the Nomus come from? How are they actually made and whatnot? You know, get more information and just talk to him. And even in the end, we saw that like Oboro's, I guess, silhouette was still there in Kurogiri, but... I guess ultimately, uh, we didn't get that far, uh, you know, but at least we got to see him a little bit. It was just a little hard for me to, I guess, comment because the information was just being presented to me so fast, but damn, dude. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, dude. I, I, I mean, I definitely did not expect that at all. They kind of threw a little bit of a wrench in there with my whole understanding of everything that Kurogiri is a Nomu in his own right. But he still maintains some, I guess, personality traits that Aboro used to have. Like, I remember when uh, Aiza was talking about how Aboro used to, would take in, like, a cat without, like, any sort of, like, you. he would just take it in and protect it. I think he was relating that to, like, Abo um, Kurogiri was asking, like, how is Shigaraki doing? Is he, is he okay? Did you capture him? You know, I'm supposed to protect him and whatnot. I don't know if he was relating those situations to each other or those scenarios to each other, but... Damn, that is really interesting, though. Like, honestly, really did not expect that. But, all right, let's just continue, though, guys. Also, this episode is almost over. It feels like I've been watching for, like, five minutes. Like, holy shit. That's the main question that we're trying to figure out, Aizawa. Yeah, man, all for one, bro. True demon. It was really interesting, though, to see Aizawa act like that. Him and President Mike. Like, uh, it was... I mean, it was a sad scene, but, like... It was really interesting to see a different side of them, you know? Ah, oh, shit, we back to Hawks. Hawks, I'm still mixed on you, bro. You know, you feel he's with twice? Okay. My boy twice, though, man. I fucks with my I fucks with my guy twice, though. Wait, are they experimenting on Shigaraki right now? God damn, bro. That man is... Holy shit. What the fuck was that? My guy, they were like fucking... Yo, that man Shigaraki looked like he was in agony. They're, experiment they're experimenting on him. Are they trying to make him more powerful, I guess? That's what he said. He said, yo, like, all for one and all is, like, greatest creation. Trying to make him? I guess they're trying to alter them. Are they trying to make Shigaraki and Nomu the way, the same way they, they did uh, Kurogiri in a way, maybe? Damn, dude, this was a really strange episode. I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't bad in any way, shape, or form. Don't get it wrong. It was just, like... I don't know, they threw a lot of stuff at me that, like, I'm still trying to wrap my head around. But 
a really intriguing man really intriguing episode dude like i i don't know how long this video is gonna be because i honestly didn't really have that much to say but damn dude all right we gotta see this preview though this should be mva we go back in time about two months okay yo toga Giganto Machia? Off one's foreign bodyguard jump appeared before the League of Villains. Whether Shigaraki was a worthy successor? We're boosting our powers as heroes. They're boosting their powers as villains, bro. My villain academia! Even the music is different. Ooh! Okay, I like that, bro. I love how they're... Like, it's like a true... Like I like I get it like it's called my villain academia, but I'm glad like they're actually like focusing On the villains, you know, like, you know, <laughs> you know, I feel like that's they're gonna be like the main core Toga twice Shigaraki Dobby and all them bro. It's really interesting right now They're trying to determine if Shigaraki is a worthy successor to uh all for one. I'm guessing, you know Damn, dude. Hmm really intriguing, bro. Okay. Okay. So we're going two months back Hopefully we get to see exactly what went down when Shigaraki was, you know, standing, uh, you know, amongst all the rubble, you know, when everything, you know, everything was getting destroyed and whatnot. I'm really curious to see exactly what led up to that moment, because, you know, we saw that Shigaraki's hair, it turned white. So, or at least like gray and, or gray or white or whatnot. So I'm really curious to see exactly the moments that led up to that. But damn, like I said, guys, really intriguing episode really interesting episode i feel like this was definitely an episode that kind of bridged i guess like kind of presented a lot of questions for us to hopefully be answered soon you know exactly the main one is what are the nomus you know how are they actually created and you know what plans you know like why exactly you know so damn bro but yeah everybody um that was it for uh today's my hero academia episode let me know down in the comments below let me know what you guys thought of it um I'm still trying to wrap my head around everything with, uh, uh, you know, Shirakumo and, you know, him being the base of Kurogiri and whatnot. You know, basically Kurogiri having, I guess, more person, more personalities within him. Um, it's really, really interesting stuff, man. But uh, yeah, everybody, uh, make sure to subscribe. We're on our way to hitting that 200,000 subscribers together. Also, make sure to click that like button. It really helps the boy out a lot. And of course, like always, I gotta give a huge shout out to some of my Patreon supporters out there: Jonathan Ocean. Gene, Stanley, Joe Perez, The Improvement Lab, Psyche, Top King 101, Alex VLC, and you know, thank you guys so much for all the love and support, like always. But yeah, everybody, like I said, if you want to see the full uncut reactions, Patreon link down below in the description. But nonetheless, hope you guys have a great ass day today. It's been your boy Ivory, and I'm out. Peace.